Hello, welcome to the second installment of the Zookia Media dev vlog for the video game that I'm working on, Calories for the Colony. If you didn't tune in last time, uh, this is a game where you just have fun kind of knocking over blocks. There's a loose theme that hasn't really been incorporated too much with ants and they're trying to knock down sugar cubes. Uh, anyway, I am Brian Weiss. I am the developer. And I'm Mary Weiss, the producer. Oh boy. Big producer in the house. Uh, before we get started, just real quick, want to remind everyone that we're on uh, social media platforms such as Instagram and Twitter under at Zukia Media, and uh, I believe that Mary has set up our Facebook account. Is that right? Yes, it is there, and you can find it by searching Zukia Media. All right, so this is version 0 0.4, uh, still an early alpha here of Kelly's for the Colony. Let's uh, jump right in and take a look at some of the new features that we have. Uh, first thing you might notice, we actually have different level icons now. Uh, not a big deal, but I suppose it's a nice thing to have. Uh, so let's go into this one. Now, the uh, next kind of big feature that I worked on over the past two weeks was getting a better shot indicator. That's the thing that shows up here in the lower right. Now, there was a couple problems with this. Firstly, it wasn't the right uh, size for um, a, 4, a 4K screen. Didn't look very good. And also, um, there was really not much of a point to it because you might it, it uh, would go from 0 to 100% strength uh, when you held down the mouse button. Now what I've done is I made it so that there's a kind of a sweet sweet spot, a butter zone there, like 60-70%. And uh, if you hold it down all the way, you're going to kind of have a poor shot. But if you time it right, you can get a much faster Scott, shot. So that'll do a couple things. That'll make it uh, kind of more interesting to play around with. Uh, and uh, you know you can kind of develop a skill and get better shots by doing it that way. Probably one of the more interesting uh, features that I worked on in this past sprint was adding uh, exploding scores for when you knock over the sugar cubes. Now ultimately we're going to have a uh, few different items up there, not just sugar cubes, and they'll have different point values. And when you're playing a multiplayer game, you'll have to decide you know, if you're going to go for the lower point value items, which are probably easier to knock over, or higher point items, which may take a few turns to knock over. Uh, in any case, I wanted it to be exciting every time you scored a point. So now you can see we have these floating uh, point values. Sugar cubes are worth 10 because they're uh, actually 10 calories in general. So that's about it for uh, version 0 0.4. Um, there's a couple other things with bug fixes and that not really worth talking about. Uh, Mary, could you tell us what I am working on next sprint? Okay, so in the next sprint, we're going to be working on version 0 0.5. How exciting. We have a couple uh, designs that we're going to work on as well as some features. So the exploding bo uh, block design we're going to have there as well as we're going to have a new level for the single player. We're also going to have a few features, uh, adding an are you sure when you're actually navigating back to the menu, just in case you accidentally hit and the that button. That was supposed to be, in full disclosure, that was supposed to be done this past sprint, but I ran out of time. It was the one issue I didn't get done, which is pretty good considering how busy my day job has been. That is true. I was going to mention that, but uh, <laughs> since you uh, jumped right in there Sorry. to take the, the guilt, that's okay. Uh, so moving on, uh, the next feature he's going to be working on is the move camera with a right click drag and as well as ability to cancel shots. Uh, now there is a game and proper server HTTPS. Uh, Brian, if you want to just kind of touch upon <laughs> what that means. Uh, yeah, so if any of you have uh, tried out this game, you may have noticed that the website where it's hosted is not secure. Uh, I can assure you it's it's safe as, as it can be right now, uh, but it would be ideal, obviously, to have a site certificate on there. Uh, the reason for that is actually kind of interesting. I don't have to get into all the details here, but because I'm connecting to WebSockets on the back end, uh, you cannot connect to a non-secure 
WebSocket connection through a secure website. So basically because of the multiplayer mode I have in here, and I haven't put this on an official server yet, I'm just hosting it off of my computer, uh, it cannot advertise basically the site as secure. So I'm hoping to spend a little bit of time uh, this next, next sprint here, get it up into a real server, something like maybe on Google Cloud or uh, Amazon Web Hosting or something like that, so it can be a secure WebSocket connection and uh, won't give, give you warnings in your browser and look all sketchy. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, so that's, that's about it, right? Yep, that's everything on my list for uh, the next sprint. All right, well, you know, one thing we got to get in here is some... Uh, more scenery <laughs> right now it's it's, it's looking pretty empty in ant land here uh but yeah so that's it for this sprint um we're gonna try to do these videos every two weeks uh releasing on monday so keep an eye out for that and of course be sure to follow us on social media uh you can see the different stuff there at the bottom of the screen and uh Follow uh, not just for maybe the stuff going on with this game, but I talk about all sorts of stuff, uh, including uh, ant keeping, actual ants that we keep. And that's kind of a fun, interesting thing for that, that people enjoy, uh, as well as other things I'm working on, like building props or uh, little marble toys and, you know, whatever. It's uh, fun stuff, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.